For years, Mike Mansfield's name has hung on the federal courthouse in Butte. Well, now his image will hang in that courthouse as a Butte artist unveiled a portrait of Montana's most famous senator. Oh. <laughs> it, it's absolutely beautiful. They, they did, he, Mike did a wonderful job. And uh, it, it's so realistic, it doesn't even look like a painting. It looks like he's going to just step up and come out and talk to us. Butte artist Mike Hamblin was contracted to do the painting over a year ago, and it was both a challenge and an honor to do it. I've been wanting to do a painting like this um, pretty much my entire life. That's the truth. Working off an old black and white photograph of Mansfield, Hamblin spent the next eight months bringing the portrait to life. That meant starting with the eyes. Ten out of ten people, when they look at anything like this, they go right for the eyes. And you might not even realize it, but um, that's what we do. And so any painting that I do that involves people, my focal point is right here. The portrait of the courthouse's namesake is part of a multi-million dollar renovation project at the Butte Courthouse that first opened in 1904. This courthouse is very significant in the courtroom in particular um, because of the history it holds for Montana. And being the oldest federal courthouse in Montana, um, we just have a lot of stories and a lot of history. This courthouse is the site of many extraordinary events, including the trial of bootlegger John O'Leary, who in the middle of his trial pulled out a 32 automatic pistol and fired several shots in this very courtroom. You could still see where one of the bullets struck the bench, just missing the judge by inches. Hamblin said he hopes Mansfield, who died in 1988, would have appreciated the portrait if he could see it today. When I paint things like this, I want to paint them in a way that if they were to stand there, um, they would be humbled and honored and say, yeah, you got me on my best day. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News.